Griezmann. Fine ball from Antoine Griezmann. Moy Gomez with a nice little skill move. Gets on his five-star weak foot. Nice little finish there. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I might get the Phillips SPC player review out today because there is uh, that EFL Championship SPC out and there's two different cards, there's Maguire and Phillips. So if any of you guys are going to be doing Maguire, be sure to DM me on Instagram um, if you guys want me to do a review on him because I know that there's two people that might do Phillips. So I might get that review out later today. But for today's video or for this video right now, uh, we ended up completing Moy Gomez's card. Honest to God, it wasn't really worth it. You know, if I wasn't a content creator, I wouldn't necessarily do the card myself because of the fact that, you know, the card isn't really that good. It's a very, very generic card. Um, I could have a lot of fun with him, and potentially. You know, if you use this card in the game, I would recommend using um, using him in the cam position with that five-star weak foot. I think he would definitely be uh, a nice card to have in that general position. But generally speaking, you know, it's not really... Um, it's not really the type of card you should grind for. If you do end up doing, uh, you know, the Liga Santander goals, do it because you want the two rare gold packs or the two rare, the two gold, uh, wow, the two player rare gold packs because, you know, you could potentially get someone really good. Uh, I, get, I get like a few duplicates here and there. I don't really um, get anything like too special. I'm saying that for the Jinx so I can get like an icon in this one right now. I don't even, I don't even think it's possible to get an icon, but I don't even know. It could be. Uh, that's obviously going to be nothing. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and play uh, with this card in the team. We're going to use him in our Liga Santana team. He will play in the camp position because he's obviously missing... Um, he's obviously missing the defensive presence to be able to play as a CDM. That five-star weak foot could be like a quote-unquote fun concept. But he kind of looks very similar to Santi Cazorla. So um, it's basically going to be like me doing a review on Santi Cazorla. But he's going to be playing in the camp position. I'm going to show you guys how we're going to line up with him uh, in-game with the Liga Santana team. That's why it's good that I made the different teams because I know that when they release cards, it's easier for me to review cards because I already have the teams made for them, right? So um, this is one of the teams I was using for the for the objective. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch to the uh, Liga Santander here. We're going to delete this one. And we're going to go get the other one because this is the one that's the main one, the main squeeze. Um, okay, so Munain is gonna take is gonna have to take him out, and then I have to take out Zambrota. And then what we will do is we're gonna put that guy playing as the cam for us. So La Liga Santander over here. I'm gonna pick him out right there. So if you look at his card stats, we're gonna take a look at him on Footbin specifically, just so I can show you guys what's going on with his card. Um, I also want to get De Jong. I think De Jong is still chilling on my team too. He is, just because I want a better link up between um, him and William Carvalho. But the way that this team is going to be lined up in game is going to be like this. So with the custom tactics, as you guys know, it's going to be the same generic 4-2-3-1 tactics. I don't know why this part always changes. I think it's because of the different teams uh, that I am using on the t on the card. Save back all attacking cover center. I do not want to stay on the edge of the box. Because I like when they move uh, in general positions. So we'll go ahead and take that out. The striker is going to be on stay central and target man and then we'll basically take it from there so uh moy gomez will be playing in the cam position we will not get into the box for that one moy gomez will be playing in the cam position we're going to take a look at what he looks like on footpin in regards to whether or not you guys want to use the card for fun because it's not really like worth doing it in general but you know if you're going to do the objectives anyways you might as well uh you might as well take a look at the car in that regard right but if you if you end up doing the card i think the Thing you should obviously use on the card is a nice little hunter on it i think hunter will make a significant difference on the card the dribbling uh will be noticeable from time to time uh not always though because he is a five foot nine player so his dribbling will be like okay on the ball uh reactions being low and composure being low will be noticeable from time to time but we're looking at someone who has very good passing stats if you give him a hunter card he's a very usable card in the game um, I'm not going to say he's not a usable card because he is a usable card. Uh, it's just, you know, it would have been nice if they gave him like 74 defense or something. Because then if they gave him like 74 defense and then we were to slap a nice little shadow on him, he'd be a pretty cool concept of a card for the Liga Santander. Because he is a player that was upgraded from the silver um, from the silver player. So, you know, it would have been really cool. But like I said, guys, if you guys end up using the card, I'm not going to waste the money on a hunter card for him. Uh, but I do think that the Hunter card is the best to use on the card. So he will be playing in the camp position for us. 
And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Conventional, but the fullbacks will be asked to support from behind. Moy Gomez. Oh, good dribbling there with Moy. They have the ball there. He just tackled. Oh, we're going to get it back. Near post or far post. <laughs> My players were like trying to jump away from me so that they didn't actually get the ball back. Yo, the car the car's not bad to be honest with you. I think if you give him like a hunter, he's 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 like fun to use. It's different, right? It's it's a car that's Spanish from like a different league. Hopefully this guy doesn't leave. I think he's gonna leave because he's doing the Liga Santander objective, but uh not too bad so far. His positioning off the ball's not even that bad either, to be honest. <laughs> Look at him. It's not, it's not it's not bad, dude. His Moy Gomez card is definitely usable for sure. Like he doesn't feel he doesn't feel terrible, and he doesn't even have a hunter card on him yet. Might not even need the pace. I might just freaking give him like a freaking sniper boost just so his dribbling can be god tier because he's so small. Look, look at his positioning. He's already positioned to, to score an opportunity. I couldn't do it right there because those crosses are a little bit more inconsistent. But look, look, look at this kid. Moy Gomez, uh, he feels taller than 5'9 in game. Look at that dribbling, bro! Can't overcommit those positions because you guys know the 18 yard box is not the greatest. Little pass right there, little pass right there. Moy Gomez is going to open up the space. His dribbling is actually really nice. He doesn't even need the, f the four star skills. Look at this guy. Ah, oh, that fake shot? I should not have done that fake shot. It's on the flank. My Gomez? His dribbling is like, he's so small that like the reactions and stuff is not like a huge deal. Look at this guy, bro. His, yo, his off the ball movement, I'm telling you guys, is actually kind of solid. Nice little goal right there. Okay, so heel to heel flick is not like a a high a high skill move. I thought it would be like a four star or something, but it's just a three star because Moy Gomez was able to do it right there. And heel to heel is really nice uh, to have in the general space. So it's actually pretty decent that he has that. Makes pretty good off the ball movement right there in regards to that run. Do I necessarily want your cam do I necessarily want my cams to do that? Not necessarily, but Moy Gomez with a nice little skill move gets on his five star weak foot, nice little finish there. He definitely likes to make uh, attacking oriented runs. Um I didn't actually check out his work rate, so I'm actually very curious to see see that after um after these games for the final verdict, because uh, he definitely likes to be, he's definitely a more committing uh, attacking midfielder, because he likes to make those four runs quite a bit. A little layoff pass, a little ball roll. You're a little bit lucky there. Goalkeeper is just tapping it right back to me. We get the ball back nicely. His dribbling is good, but it's not like responsive enough. The thing is, is that like, even even if you're like really really small player, like you can definitely tell the dribbling differences between like um, him and someone like Griezmann and stuff. Right? Like Griezmann's dribbling is just on another level compared to him, uh, regardless of the height and whatnot, because you still need to have uh, a decent or high agility and balance to be able to like really move. And you can still kind of tell that some of the dribbling stuff that he does is still emphasized. But it is a usable card, so if you're a Villarreal fan and you see that you have, uh, you know, a nice little Fumas Cazorla and a Moy Gomez just kind of like chilling there, it's a pretty fun concept for sure. I think we're going to get a nice little goal here from a layoff, and then we're going to just tap it off. Get the angle there, and I don't score it. <laughs> because the way that the ball went away from me was so weird. Such a simple opportunity, too. 
The one thing I've definitely noticed recently with uh, players, I've, as I've been using more and more of them, is that the actual passing stat of the cards makes such a huge difference in the card, man. Like, when you have, like, 85s and above for your actual passing stat, it's such a noticeable difference, man. It's insane because there's just specific passes that your players do, even when they're facing the right angle, like, for layoffs and whatnot, that are just significantly better than they would be normally speaking if you just use like generic people playing up top as a cam right all right guys so final verdict on the card it's a ge it's a generic card it's the same situation as like using a santi cazorla in your team um if you do end up using this card and you want to use this card give him a nice little hunter on it because with the hunter he'll obviously have the pace increase he'll have the shooting increase and whatnot um his dribbling in general i don't really think there's much you can do about the dribbling to be honest uh, to be honest with you it was actually very interesting because this game I just played right now is obviously later on in the day, and it's 10 o'clock right now, and the gameplay was really, really good. And his dribbling actually felt worse than it did when the gameplay was worse, um, because it, his dribbling actually felt better in the worst gameplay. It's such a weird thing to do player reviews in this game because of this inconsistent gameplay thing. But uh, yeah, his, his dribbling, even with the chemistry style boost on his card, it just didn't really feel like it was worth it. Um, it's definitely like a fodder card to get. Like an 86 rated card that you just put into an SBC or something. I definitely would not use this card for the rest of the year uh, in a general sense. Just more for the player review um, than anything. Maybe we keep it just in case we want to do like a Santi Cazorla challenge in the future. But I highly doubt it. I'd rather I'd rather just use Santi Cazorla's actual card um, than the Moy Gomez card. So thank you guys so much for watching the player review. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out dudes. Love you guys.